Hello children, do you remember the color wheel that we talked about in class? Some of you have already seen this. Some of you, you did your blending in term 2. Um, you will need to hand in to me when school reopen once you have finished. Today's art lesson will require you to use analogous colors. So these colors are known as next door neighbor colors because they are side by side on the color wheel. And of course, when you purchase a new box of oil pastel, they are placed together. So over here, I have already done my pencil drawing. So I'm going to take the lightest blue that I have and I'm going to draw short little lines along my pencil marking. Now I'm going to use the darker blue and I'm just going to do the same thing except that now I'm looking out for the white spaces that I left when I was using the lightest blue. So I'm just going to continue to do this and follow the outline of the swirly lines. Now I'm going to use the darkest blue and I'm going to repeat the same process and I'm watching out the white spaces so that I can fill this in as well. And then gradually, remember the swirly line, it started with just one lightest blue line and now I'm going to expand it further so that it's much bigger. The rest of the page um, below the swirly line, this is what you do. So the whole process you are going to repeat and it is the same, except now the lines will be slightly longer. So when you get to the bottom of the page, the lines will be straighter and they are no longer curved.
It is alright if you break your oil pastel. You just remove the wrapping around and you can use them again. Okay, do not throw away the small pieces of oil pastel because that is such a waste. So now you watch how I drag my white oil pastel along the blue lines. So the purpose of this white oil pastel is not really to show the white because the paper is already white. So you need the white oil pastel to actually blend um, the colors, the blue colors. Okay, so as you are doing your blending, you are also filling up the spaces along the white paper. So now that I'm done, I'm going to pick my another set of analogous colors. So these are in shades of yellow. So I have the lightest one, middle, and the darkest one. So the darkest one will look something like an orange. I'm going to start with the lightest one and I am going to draw lines in a circle so these are short little lines i know the space is really small but it's all right because um, we are eventually going to mix up the colors so right now i'm going to fast forward the video and you're going to do this for the rest of the shades of yellow Thank you. 
Once you're happy with the background, it's time to add in some buildings. So take some pieces of script paper. If you have black, you could actually use black. Otherwise, you could use your white drawing papers. So I have some scrap pieces of black papers here. And what I do is before I paste them down, I would like to position them and I want I wanted a variation of height and width for my buildings. So if there are some buildings that's too large for my paper and my drawing, I'm going to cut them into half and I think about the spacings between the buildings. Okay, and now I'm trimming the height. And I would like a big building like this, so there is some variations. So this paper happens to look like two buildings sticking together. And then perhaps I would want a smaller one, which I could put 